The Alchemy Synth here in GarageBand has some amazing sounds that we can choose from and you can manipulate and construct these exactly as you want using all of the different options we have here. But did you know you can also record all of your knob movements while you're actually recording and they will play back exactly as you recorded them. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, consider subscribing. Now, the Alchemy Synth instruments that we have here in GarageBand are very, very cool, as I mentioned. And if you look at the top here, we've got a bunch of different controls that we can actually manipulate the sound. If you've never used Alchemy Synth before, check out my Quick Jam video up the top there and in the description and that will let you know everything you need to know to get started. But let's assume that we know the basics and we want to record in a bit of an alchemy synth sound here. So we've got a nice patch that we've got here ready to go. Now what you may realize is that these are all of our presets. So with our presets, you can either put them right on a preset like that, and we can dial it in there, or we can actually get a bit of a different sound sort of in between a few of them to get to get a very different kind of sound. And all these do is if you look at these dials over here, they're gonna change those. So if we move it to somewhere different like this and we slide across, all of these options are what are actually changing. So I'll show you what I mean. If we just come to here, you can see there that it's actually the dials on the right that are actually changing. So this is just a shortcut way of dialing in a patch. If you wanna do it manually, you can come over here and you can set all of this. And again, check out that other video about Alchemy Synth to learn more about that. But the cool thing is that we can actually use this to actually change our sound. So if we were playing something with, uh, with a synth like this, and we wanted to get that sort of effect, we can actually do that by actually moving this. And the cool thing is that if we record, making that change, as we're recording, it's going to stay on our recording. So let's show you what I mean here now. Let's hit record, and we'll hold down the notes here. And there we go. So we'll hit stop on that one. There we go. <clears throat> now, if we go back and play back this sound, what you'll notice is that these dials are going to all start moving and it's going to, because it's recorded our movements here. So let's hit play on this one and play it back. Watch it here. Moves up there. Watch our dials over here. Pretty cool, yeah? And if we come over here, you'll be able to see exactly what the presets are doing. So if we come over to, uh, whoop, we've changed it there. That's all right. If we come over to here, we can hit play and watch this again. So it's manipulating that sound in real time as we go and it's recording in those movements, which is pretty darn cool. The thing to consider here though, is that if you change the instrument now, because every instrument has different settings, it may not be able to keep those. So let's just show you what we mean. If we tap here, let's just move this over to a galactic star field now. You're going to get this. It says delete controls recording. Switching instruments now will delete your existing knob movement recording, but will not erase the note. So if we continue, on that one, what we'll find is that it's just now reset to a default. So if we hit play, so it won't actually move our settings like it did originally, but that's okay. We can just simply re record that if we wanted to. So if we came here to our came to our track view and we wanted to re-record this part, and we wanted to use those knob movements again, because I kind of actually like this, uh, I like this patch a little bit more, to be honest. So we'll come back to here, and say we wanted to record this. All we need to do is hit record again. I actually really like that. So yeah, again, you can see there that when we move through there, it's going to actually move. And if we play that back, 
it's going to do nothing. Why doesn't it play back there? It's because the notes have actually only been triggered once right here at the start. So that's a, an additional tip there if you ever get that problem. It just means that the notes here will only play if you play it from the very start like that. kind of like that this could be a new song uh yeah i really like the sound of that patch what's that the galactic starfield there you go so yes recording knob movements here in the alchemy synth is very cool and it's not just the alchemy synth that you can use this for a lot of your other keyboard instruments will have the same sort of thing so if we go to our keyboard here we can come to either like a soul organ or a wurlitzer and again it's going to delete our controls recording so that's okay but what we can do now is do the same thing here but instead of having the control over the other things like our patches and our uh, different uh, different controls for alchemy synth we can now use these so we can use our our bars our draw bars and they will actually record as we record our organ sound just like the other ones did the same with our distortion controls here and any of our other controls so any of your keyboard instruments that have a control setting here we can actually record in those movements and this will work exactly the same on your iPad as well as your iPhone. You'll just have a little bit fiddlier time trying to actually do it. I hope you found this useful and interesting. It's a very cool option here in GarageBand. If you want to learn more about using the keyboard, there's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next one.